Hey guys, I'm Tyler and welcome back to another Learn the Logic series video, a series where I talk about something that I built and why I built it that way. Today, we are gonna talk about my two-stage dust collector. Before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know that in the description below, there is a link that'll take you to DIYTyler.com where you can get a basic set of plans that has some of the parts that I use for this and that is free for all of you guys to get. This is one of the best performing videos on my channel and I get a ton of questions about this so I put together that PDF so that people can quickly see what I used and try to build something similar. If you guys do build it, please shoot me an email or tag me on Instagram with a picture of what you did. I love to see what you guys put out. So right off the get-go what did i solve by building this system the way i did the biggest thing is i was able to get a two-stage system in the same footprint that you would typically get a single stage system single stage system being one that does not have a cyclone in front of it to separate the dust before it gets to the blower which can damage your impeller blades if you get any if you suck any big chunks of wood or nails up in there so it's definitely awesome to have the cyclone in front of it and then you get the added dust collection benefits of this. These cyclones can filter out roughly 99% of the dust that goes through this thing before it even gets to your blower or your filter. So it's really, really awesome to have. And it's super easy to get the dust out of here now with the new trash can system. Did any new issues arise from building this system this way? Absolutely not. A ton of people ask me how the filter works upside down. No different than if it was right side up. I cut literally miles of MDF with this system running and MDF dust is absolutely nasty. And I had a cup of fine dust in the bottom of the bag in the end. That is a testament to the cyclone itself. And then the filter is just doing an awesome job keeping up that suction throughout all of that cutting. And in probably the year that I've had this system set up and in about the year that I've had this system installed, I've cleaned the filter out twice. That's a testament to the incredible square footage in this wind filter. There's about 240 square feet of filter media in there compared to like the 40 that you would get with the one micron bags on a single stage system. And this is MER 15 rated, which is insane. That's like bacteria filtering. What did it cost to build this system? So it is not the cheapest thing in the world to build I admit to that, but it is still cheaper than buying a ready-made system. This is a Harbor Freight single stage system converted, obviously. The Harbor Freight, if you are patient and wait for a coupon, you can get that for about $170 pre-tax. Definitely need to keep your eye out for a coupon on that one though. The Dust Deputy runs about the same. It's about $175. Again, links for this stuff in the description below. And then the filter is about $200 shipped to your door. This is not an off the shelf filter because of the open open design, but we'll talk about this filter a little bit later. There are potentially some new options and there is something that I would change with the filter. And then the trash can, which is five or $7 and then some scrap wood that I had laying around, but I would say it is all less than and probably $15 of wood. So how did I go about building this system? Very simple, butt joints, wood glue, and some screws. On the brackets that are holding the filter and the trash can lid in place, I did do half lap joints with wood glue and screws just for the added strength of all of that side grain. The lids, the trash can, which is two sandwich pieces of plywood are just glued together with some brad nails shot in real quick so that you can move on with the build. The back wall bracket is not glued together. It is simply wood on wood with some wood screws in place just in case I need to take that down and ever remove it or modify it. Filter bag held on with a typical bracket that you get with your single stage system. There is a layer of weather stripping in between the plywood disc that I glued to the bottom of the filter and the bag there for a nice airtight seal. Wind filter. Harper Freight dust tube. This is just a three quarter inch plywood and there are little brackets that are glued to this that are inside of this donut so that you can screw from the outside through the donut into that little bracket to hold this in place and then seal up nice and airtight with a bead of caulk. Same thing was done on the top here and then the brackets are bridle joints. There you can see my DIY manometer so I know if the filter is getting clogged up. And this is actually butted together so I use the least amount of space away from the wall motor mounted sideways, blowing out, and all these different adapters I have in the downloadable plans. Some important dimensions on this build. The system stands about 80 inches tall to the top of the motor here, 
sticks out about 45 inches this way if you remove the handle that comes standard on the Harbor Freight dust collector and it sticks out from your wall roughly 23 inches which is dictated by the diameter of the trash can. I want to show real quick how the bucket actually attaches and I've been wanting to come up with something a little more clever for the cam system to hold the bucket up in place. The cam is just two opposing wedges that slide into place to hold the bucket up underneath the lid that holds the cyclone in place. So to empty the trash can you simply slide out the opposing cams and the trash can drops right off of the lid. And you can see right there how the trash can clips into place underneath this lid. And there's no caulking or anything in there that's just a suction seal between the trash can and the lid itself. And a wee bit of dust in there. And when you're done with that, you simply clip it back in place. I found it's easiest to clip the back in place first and then kind of pull the front towards you. And then simply wedge it in place. Would I build this system again? Absolutely, no questions asked. This thing has been super awesome to have in the shop and it works absolutely fantastic. The only thing that I might possibly change is the type of filter that I put on here. Like I said before, this is a custom order filter. It still only takes about two weeks to get in. And the reason it's custom order is it's open on the top and the bottom and it only has the gasket on one side. And that would be the biggest thing that I change. If I was to do it again, I would put a gasket on the bottom as well. Now it's easy enough to add this by yourself using some weather stripping that you can get at your local home center. But I think if you had that installed there already, it would give you a few more options to use some of the new brackets that Win Environmental carries that are basically like a straight hose clamp, if that makes any sense, to maybe have a few more options for a bucket instead of a bag on the bottom. And they have a new filter that has a little bit better dust release. You can find out more about that at the link in the description below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hammer that thumbs up button. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button so that you never miss when I upload a new video. If you guys have any ideas for questions that I should ask in the Learn to Logic series, please leave those in the comments down below and I'll be sure to take a look at them. If you build this, be sure to tag me on Instagram, shoot me an email. I love to see what you guys do. I'm DIY Tyler. You guys have a good one.